back to my channel Gababetic and welcome to today's video. So today I'm going to be doing a Dexcom transmitter change. This video is part of my Freestyle Libre Dexcom user guide series and I'll put that playlist in the description down below if you want to see that. I hope you enjoyed the video and find it very helpful. If you do, please give it a big thumbs up, comment down below and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And let's go ahead and put on our new Dexcom transmitter. You'll notice I'm wearing a Freestyle Libra and I'm just wearing this because I had one that was about to expire. But this sensor ends today, so I'm going back to Dexcom. Now, my last Dexcom sensor that I had on was this one and this is the transmitter on top. And this transmitter has actually expired. Normally, if you see my other videos, you would take off the transmitter from the old sensor and reuse it for three months. But this is the very first one I've had and this one is actually dead now, the three months is up. So we can no longer use this, so it's time to do a new transmitter change. So I'm just going to discard this one completely. Now, I'm using the Dexcom G6. So the Dexcom G6 has the transmitter, the G7 doesn't. In Ireland, what happens is every three months, Dexcom themselves will send you a new transmitter. Not sure how it works in other countries, but that's what happens here. So you actually get your sensors from the pharmacy every month, and then Dexcom themselves send you the transmitter. That's how it works in Ireland anyway. But anyway, here is my new transmitter. So I've been sent this by Dexcom, so I'm going to open it up for the first time. So you can see that we have a tab on here. So I pull that off, and it's going to be very small. Like you can see how small that is. So this is the new transmitter ready to go. So we will take him out of the box like that. So there we go, new transmitter ready to go. And the most important thing what you want is the number for the transmitter. So this is the number that we're gonna be using to activate it here. To pair your new transmitter, you can do it on the receiver, which I like to use, or the mobile app. I'm gonna be doing it on the receiver first, and then I'll also pair it on the mobile app later so that you can see that too. But for now, we're gonna work with the receiver. So very easy, it's telling us that we need to pair a new transmitter because the other one ended, that's fine. So we will press pair. First, we need to go ahead and put in our sensor and our sensor code, then we'll pair our new transmitter. I have one left in this, so I'm gonna take it out. So here is my sensor here, the Dexcom G6 sensor. So I will open this up. And you can see it has the applicator here and it also has the sensor code. So my sensor code today is 5931. So all I'm going to do is enter that into my receiver. X is it correct? I'll say yes. Sensor is successfully paired. So as you can see, it's asking you to go ahead and look at the box and get that transmitter code. So definitely hang on to the box when you open it. So I'm gonna enter into my code now. So double check 8F9PW4 and save. It asked me is it correct? Yes, and you want to be sure to get that correct because that is very important. So now it tells us what to do. We're going to insert our sensor and attach our transmitter. So sensor application very easy we take off these two bits here and that's the shape of the sensor ready to go you can also break this off beforehand i like to do that because i feel like it's easier to do it when it's not on your arm and then when you press this button it's going to apply the sensor so i'm going to put it on my arm somewhere about here and i'll go like that and then i press the orange button here we go and the sensor is on, so we have no transmitter at the moment now. Go over it a few times to make sure that it's pushed down. So there we have it, sensor is ready to go. So now we need to go ahead and attach our transmitter, which is very easy to do. You just get the new transmitter, push it onto the sensor until it makes a click. And once it makes a click, it's secure inside there. So now you have your sensor on and your transmitter ready to go. And all you need is your device, whether it be the receiver or the phone to pair. We go ahead and we press next. And it says, please wait, this may take up to 30 minutes, so you want to stay within six meters of the transmitter at all times. That's it, literally paired. Honestly, like the second I paused the video to go, it actually paired, so it paired within one minute. So our transmitter is on there. So I will press next. And then we want to start our new sensor. So we're gonna start our sensor. And it's starting up. And then it's in the two hour warm up. You can see it was very easy to put on a new transmitter. We just removed the old one and we made sure that we had our new code and we put that into our receiver or the phone. And then we just put it on our sensor and it paired and activated. So this transmitter will last for three months. This sensor will last for 10 days. So remember when you're going to do your next sensor change to hang on to your transmitter. And you can also look on your receiver and it will tell you about your transmitter life. On the receiver, it gives me a percentage, I think. 
So when it's coming near its expiry time, it comes up on the receiver, like I'll show you now. This is what happened to me. I got a few warnings saying the transmitter's gonna end, the transmitter's gonna end like a week, two weeks, three weeks before. So it does give you enough notice so you know. So for anyone who's using the Dexcom app, I'll show you what I did. I went into the app, I put in my sensor code and it accepted it. Then I went ahead and put in that transmitter code again, the one that was on the back of the box. Or you can take a photo if you want as well. It does let you do that too on the app for both the sensor code and the transmitter. So then it accepted it and then I went ahead and put on my sensor, told it that I'd done that and then it went ahead and it did the whole pairing thing and then it paired and it's doing the two hour warm up. Now I have my new sensor and my new transmitter on and I'm just waiting for the two hour warm up. I'm gonna use the receiver and the phone as well. I hope this video was helpful for anyone who's wondering how to change the transmitter on the Dexcom because it is hard sometimes when you have all this new information or just to remember if you've used Freestyle Libre for a while and then you go back to Dexcom. It is a hard process I think so it's good to have these videos. I hope you enjoyed. If you did please give it a big thumbs up, comment down below and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Thanks so much for watching and if you have any questions please comment down below and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.